Okay, Sarika, actually, can you tell me? Actually, ma'am, I listened to the recording. I have a doubt, ma'am. In the 18 vital points, what is the fifth point and what is the 15th point, ma'am? Okay, I will tell you. First, uh, uh, let me ask Sarika to explain. Okay, then ma'am. Okay. Okay. Yes, Sarika ji. Yes, we are seeing chapter three that uh, we have started with uh, how nada is produced mm -hmm. and uh, what are the steps that one should do. He should uh, sit in a comfortable posture and controlling the sense organs. Yogi should uh, stop the apana vayu and also he should adopt the shanmukhi mudra, closing the ear sense organs uh, by hand. And then uh, nada is produced. Uh, and it is heard like a pure crystal sound within the Brahmarandra of the Sushumna. And uh, it is uh, the lotus stem is compared to Sushumna. Uh, sorry. And uh, we, we have seen the Nada sequences uh, in the beginning, uh, conch sound in the middle thunder sound and in the last mountain stream when the prana enter the vyoma together with the mind and senses then the nada nada is producing the sound of mountain stream mm -hmm. we have seen the kundalini awakening and the uh, what are the steps of Kundalini awakening and the three uh, mandalas in our body and the uh, Pratyahara? Do I need to tell the steps of this? No need to say. Yes. Both. We have seen the four definitions of Pratyahara. Mm -hmm. So, first is the forceful withdrawal of senses, second is one should see self in the self and third is uh, or doing all the nitya karmas and fourth is uh, doing nitya karma without any external aid that is also called pratyahara and fourth is uh, holding the 18 uh, breath at the 18 vital places and then withdrawing from each and every uh, vital place and then we have seen the 18 vital points of the body. Yes. Okay. Uh, here I want to correct one thing. What is Ripalika ji is, uh, telling yesterday? The, um, or someone is asking about the... Okay, first I need to present my screen. Yes, my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. So here in this, someone, I think Sarika is asking, Brikma. Okay. So Brikma here, uh, the 18 one, it is the Vyoma uh, is written here. Here, according to the slokas, it is mentioned that Lalata Mathe. Okay. So you have to remember the name Lalata Mathe is according to the sloka and Rekma is the midline bone in the skull or it is also called the Brahmarantra. Okay. So please pick it out. So it is not the crown of the head but the in the, yes, in the yes. forehead. Okay. Yes. Okay. Lalata Mathe, the uh, uh, direct word from the sloka, and the uh, Brahmarandra is uh, another way to understanding. And in English, it is named as the midline bone in the skull. Okay, Brahma. But uh, uh, remember, here different um, things are mentioned in English, but actually, that exact meaning is different in, according to the verses. Okay. So where it is required, I noted out in the uh, uh, sloka name. Means whatever the word is written in the sloka, uh, verses that I mention in, uh, in the next slides. Okay. So 
so that it will be easy for you whenever the in the exam it will become like uh, different names are there vishnu names means a uh, lot vishnu names which it will directly required the name in the uh, exam question but here in the uh, when it will be um, discussed in the english form there is no mention of the that particular name it is mentioned in a different way so that i am taking that direct one okay yes rajeshwari ji whatever you are having doubt i think 15 number I, uh, cleared ma'am yeah i cleared ma'am i have noted uh, vision of the eyes is the 15 one one second i am read out 18 is the bema and the pigma which is the midline bone in the skull or the write down from the verses it is the name is lalata madhye is mentioned and the 17 one is the forehead 16 one is the interval between the eyebrows and the 15 one is the 15th reason of the eyes root of the nose is the 14 13 is root of the tongue 12 is cavity of the throat 11 is middle of the heart 10th is navel 9th is penis and the 8th one is the middle of the body which is the bhumadhya and the bottom of the anus, sixth one is middle of the thigh, fifth one knee, fourth one is upper end of the scene, and the third one is the middle of the calf, second one ankle, and the first one is the big toe. Okay. And uh, what we discussed in the yesterday class, that is the mandalas, about the mandalas, that is also directly the three types of uh, three uh, mandalas are there in the body that is not mentioned in the um, uh, verses but for understanding purpose i am taking that one as uh, a different uh, i think lipalika ji said that uh, uh, what surya mandal is present in the heart heart region yes or no uh, yes ma'am i was confused about means uh, chest region or stomach region yes because it is associated with the surya that is in the navel region okay but it is not mentioned in the verses only verse in the verses it is mentioned about the surya mandal and your uh som mandal okay a som mandal i want to correct that one som mandal is the phumadhya that is uh, sorry in the eyebrow center in that again okay that is present in the eyebrow center or in the bhumadhya and the and another yoni mandal is present in the anus at anus region and the surya mandal is present in the navel region okay so here we are starting with the fourth chapter third chapter we already completed till your pratyahara now we'll see in this chapter dharana dhan sanat so let's see what is uh, what is present in the dharana so this chapter will be covered with the dharana dhyan and samadhi dharana here our sister is discussing about the five types of dharana or five elements uh, through which on which we can do the dharana practice and the uh, dhyana is it is discussed as the two saguna and nirguna and the samadhi is uh, said in the different way, but there is not state that this is the type of samadhi. Okay, but it is said that if you are doing samadhi in this way or in on this particular reason, then you will get uh, attend the samadhi. But no description is given that these are the types or the things are. Okay, so let's come to the dharana. My screen is properly visible. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is your chapter four. What is that? What is present in this chapter four? So after discussing till the pratyahara, now my sister is try to uh, talk about the Now, my sister is trying to explain about the five dharanas. So, he just telling, uh, uh, said to the Sati that now I shall explain you the essence of five dharana. What is the importance of five dharana and what are the five dharanas are there? 
listen it very sincerely and very attentively my son so after telling this line then uh, vasista is talking about the dharma so there are two definition are given in about the dharma in vasista sahita or according to the vasista two definitions are there that i highlighted here so first one is what is dharana dharana is a stability of mind one's own self means whenever you are constrained in uh, on your mind within you are within the individual self within the your atma then that is called the dharana means your stability of the mind means mind is very much constrained about you and you are constantly doing that practice that means pratyahara what we see in the pratyahara there are the fluctuation of the mind is there so when one will be achieve the pratyahara state that is comes to the dharana state okay so here it is fast discussed that when one will be stability of the mind is there in the own self and who is master over the other attributes like yama niyama asana and pranaya then only one will be to the dharana okay and the second definition also also stated by the persister that dharana is the is concentrating of external ether and combined with the internal ether within the one's heart means you have to concentrate on your heart reason and whom you need to concentrate in the particular area is in the heart reason why where you need to concentrate in the external layer what is present in the outside akash is there sky is there that you need to assume it in the heart reason and you have to do the concentrating on that particular area okay so in this way you can do the dharana practice and the so two definition will be given by the persister what is dharana one is the stability of mind in the oneself and another one is the concentrating of external ether inside the within the one's heart reason okay and whenever you are achieve that dharana state whenever you are doing this concentration on the akasha in the in your heart reason what happen what is the result you will get you will get ability to move in the void means akasha we had that name it is mentioned that akasha we had means you can move in the air without any restriction and you can move in the air is it or anywhere you can go very fast or very without any time taking you can go anywhere that is the name it is mentioned here in the verses that is the akasha bihari but in the english it is mentioned that one is able to uh, that type of ability will be get and move in the void means in the sunya or in the air can move very easily okay this slide is clear yes ma'am and what is the akasha bihari that is what i said now in the starting the names are mentioned in the verses that is different but in the uh, understanding purpose i am written here akasha bihari means the person who is uh, who is able to move in the uh, move in the ether or in the air freely that person is known as here akasha bihari I think Bihari, ma'am. Bihari means one who travels. Observe. Okay. Clear? Ah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now I got it. Ah. Yeah. So next is the five types of uh, uh, your uh, dharana practices will be discussed by the vasista. Panch bhutas or five elements. Or on this five elements, when you are doing the dharana practice what you will get and on which uh, on which deity you need to do concentration that is whole explaining by the vasista that i mention in this tabular form it will be easy to remember you the first thing when one should first concentrating on the earth element this is the first type of dharana okay one need to concentrate on the earth object or earth element where is the place where you need to observe the earth element where you need to visualize the earth element that is from the toes to knee area okay it will be started from the lower to upper region it will be go like see you have to see here earth water fire air and ether it is the sequence here okay so earth is from the toes to knee 
and water is present in the from the knees to anus area okay and the fire is present in the from anus to heart region okay and air is present from the middle of the heart to the middle of the, your eyebrow and the ether is present from the uh, from your middle eyebrow to head region present means here you need to visualize and when you are practicing on this place then that is called as the like first if you are visualize and you are concentrating on the place of the toes to knee area then that is called yat dharana means your uh, your, your toe dharana okay and uh, where what you need to uh, do the chanting there bija mantra is la okay lam vam ram yab and hum this is the normal sequence of the bija mantra so where you need to chant this mantra bija mantra that is in the from toes to knee this which is the yats uh, yats dharana or bhu dharana that is the deity is uh, whom you need to remember or whom you need to visualize in that particular area lord brahma is the deity so you have to visualize lord brahma in this area okay and uh, this is the time for which time uh, means how many how much time you need to do that is your five kartikas our names are mentioned in the every dharana that five kartikas means the two hours okay it is mentioned as the five kartikas means two hours then one kartika is how many minutes yes 24 ma yes 24 Okay, twenty-four minutes are taken for the five uh, one katika, and five katikas. It is mentioned in the every time that in the every uh, dharana practices you need to do this uh, this time practices, and the result. What you got from this uh, dharana if you are practicing this way, uh, yeah, bhu dharana from which area to which area, toes to knees area. You have to chant the la alarm mantra. It is the Vijaya mantra of the uh, Ayatharya, and deity is the Lord Brahma. You have to remember to the Lord Brahma in that particular area. How much time? What is the time duration is given? That is two hour or five thirty ka. And the result. If you are doing this dharana, this practices, then what will be happen? Victory on the Ayatharman means. Victory on the earth element. If what do you mean by victory over the earth element? That becomes that earth means the bhu. That it will be the strongness. That means your body will be converted as a very strong and it will be still in a particular place. Okay, that means you will get that stability of the body if you are focusing on this earth element. Okay. the second one is the water element if you are focusing on the water element from which place to which place that is from the knees to anus area okay this is the placement of the water it is uh, uh, mentioned then what is the bija mantra of the water that is the vam and the deity is lord vishnu you have to visualize to whom the lord vishnu you have to visualize and that is also the same time for all two hours and what is the result you will be relieved of all the diseases whatever you if you are having any diseases and you will become free from all type of diseases okay when you are focusing on the water element next is the third one is the fire element if you are doing the uh, fire uh, element dharana then what will be the happen if the placement is from anus to heart region and the bija mantra is ram Okay, this mantra is Ram, and the deity is here, Lord Rudra. Okay, first is Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra. You have to remember in this way, three things are common here: the so, earth, water, fire. Lord Brahma, Vishnu, and Rudra. The time mention is same, two hour. And what will the result? The person not burned by the fire. And see, if, if you are doing the concentration on the fire element. then what happened then your body is become like that you are not able to miss that person will be not burned by the fire nothing will be uh, happen if the fire is there his body will be not burn out okay because he become the victory over the fire you know, because he are uh, he is concentrating on the fire so that is his city that he become uh, 
victory over that fire element. Then what happened in the air element? If one will be concentrating, it will be from the placement is middle of the heart region to the middle of the eyebrows. Okay. So its Vija Mantra is Yam and the deity is here Mahat. Mahat is the deity here and the timing one need to do the, that is the two hour and the result what will be get the mover in the sky like the air. Okay, how the air is moving in the everywhere in the sky in the same practice as well if one will be two on the air that, that will be get the all qualities of the air that person will not that, that yogi or that sadhak will get that all the qualities of the air he can can move the freely in the air or in the sky okay the fifth one is the ether or, or it is the sky element from middle to the eyebrow uh, eyebrow to the head reason middle of the eyebrows to the head reason because in the heart to eyebrow it is the air element from eyebrow to the head reason that is your ether area. So here the Bija Mantra is hum and here deity is Abhyakta. It is the name mentioned in the verses. But uh, Abhyakta means what? It is the unmanifested highest lord. It is the highest lord according to the Vasista. So the practices, how much uh, time you need to do, that is the two hour. And the one will be get within a year. A yogi liberated even alive. Means whether he, he is alive, no doubt, but bodily he is alive, but in the mental level he is becomes the liberated person. So that type of city will be got if one will be practicing over these five elements. Okay. One will be do the dharana practice on these five elements, then one will be fasting on the earth, we become victory over the earth element. And if one will be to the concentrating on the water, it becomes uh, disease free. And the fire element, if one will be to that, now what happens? It becomes victory over the fire. And when one will be get the air element, while concentrating on the air element, what happens? It becomes freely move in the air and the sky. And the ether element, when one will be concentrating on the ether element, that person will be become a liberated person in mind level whether it will be alive but he becomes means whenever he want to get the uh want to uh die that have that capacity that he becomes alive but he becomes liberated okay so this one is clear this slide is clear to everyone shall i move to the next is the name of deity Yes, yes. Mahat is the name of deity here at this point, sir. Okay. Clear? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Clear. Ha. So next, the same way here I am representing you in a graphical form. That is lam, bam, ram, yam, am. And the last one, it is not, it is not in your sister Sainta, till this one it is present. So what will be the um, benefits of this dharana practice if one will be do these five types of dharana? First thing is it is mentioned, it, individually it is mentioned, then after this doing this five dharana, then what will be happen, what is the benefit that is discussed by the Vasista. Okay, individually in this slide, what do we see? This, these are the results. But after practicing this five type of all dharana, then what is the uh, result will be uh, given to that person? That will be discussed. That first thing is disappear all the sorrows. He becomes free from all the sorrows. And repeatedly, the sister is telling in the all activity, whatever he is doing, pratyara meditation, you can see uh, free from sins, free from all types of, but here it is when that disappears, uh, all the sorrows, and who retain the air at their five spot, then it is impossible to remove him from any seat. Any seat means, if suppose by doing any sadhana, one will be get any board seat, that is impossible that one can remove from that particular seat. Like if you seen in the Indra Dev, Indra Dev, what he will be do? 
every time when one of uh, one will be do the any sadhana i try to break it why because uh, maybe that person will be get that uh, get his seat because of that fear he always try to disturb the sadhana uh, sadhan. okay why because uh, may, uh, that is a fear in his uh, mind that one will be get then he be, maybe he will be get my seat in the same way uh, here it is talking about the seat means a god's position or any higher uh, seat but if one will be achieved that seat then one will be practice this dharana practice and no one can be uh, removed from that particular seat that is the magical power also okay next is about the dhana after discussing about this five types of dharana five elements then next it is talking about the dhana or meditation what is than or meditation the first it is stated that it free from bondage and a way of liberation for all the beings what is meditation it is free from bondage means meditation will give you you become free from any type of bondage whatever you are linking with this materialistic world you are become free from that and you getting liberation and a, a liberated one because uh, by practicing of the um, dhyana or meditation. So after getting the knowledge of the vital spot, yeah, but always uh, is saying one should follow the sequence. Okay, without directly you can't jump to the dhyana or directly you can't jump to the dharana. You have to continue the sequence. First you have to follow the yama, niyama, then asana, then I am then you have to follow the pratyara, then you will come to the meditation state. The same thing is written here. After getting the knowledge of vital spots in the body, the system of the nadis, place and function of the vayus. How you will be able to know when you are practicing the asana and uh, pranayam, the uh, pratyara, when you know this uh, all the practices, then only you will come to the meditation state. You will be follow the meditation. So uh, generally the meditation means the true understanding of one's own self by mind. Means to know yourself by your own mind. When you know yourself through the mind, the, the, that state, that means you know that supreme self, that uh, whatever present in the outside, the supreme self, that is inside uh, only me. And what I am uh, thinking about the supreme one, what is my imagination, that is nothing. That is only, uh, I only situated in my hand, in my mind. So when this understanding will be done, and this understanding will be done, how you will be know this understanding? Only the practice of the meditation. So here, meditation types is uh, uh, twofold as discussed according to the best. First one is the Saguna Dhyan, another one is the Nirguna Dhyan. This is very, very important according to the exam point of view. So please note out and be attentive in this. The Saguna Dhan is how many types it is mentioned? That is the five ways of uh, Saguna Dhan. And the Nirguna Dhan it is discussed as the one type. Nirguna first, first is discussing about the Nirguna, then discussing about the Saguna. Nirguna means what? When you are taking any support. Sorry. Nirguna means without any support, that is called as the Nirguna. That is no uh, support is there, no objects are there, then that is called as the Nirguna. Saguna means with some support, where attribute will become, but in the Nirguna, there is no attributes are there. That means that is attributeless, no support, no objects. That is the Nirguna. So first it is discussed by the Basista that Nirguna meditation, that means it is attributeless, and become united with the, that Brahman. Means it is already merged with that Brahman and by by assuming different qualities of Brahman within the body inside. Okay. Means you already merge with that Brahman in this meditation, Nirguna. Means the qualities only you are observing what about the qualities that is the Brahman qualities. So what are the Brahman qualities are there? That is discussed by the Vasista that the Brahman is pure, that is spread everywhere like the sky and that Brahman is immovable and the Brahman is very clean, untouched by the grass and the subtle as well as 
and the invisible and that is beyond the taste and smell that is the blissful and ever new always uh, it becomes the new and it has become permanent and cause of all the beings whatever the beings uh, the things are present that are behind all the things that he is uh, that brahman is the cause and non being also and creator of all and assuming the uh, form of universe and beginningless as well as the interest in destructible etc in this way the sister is trying to understand to the sakti that who is brahman and what are the qualities so when one person is combined with that brahman that type of qualities that type of superior one with one then only that 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 is attributeless and that is called as the nirguna meditation okay so after discussing about this nirguna then the uh, sister is come to the saguna meditation all of you clear about this slide yes yes ma'am okay Again, yes, can you tell me loudly because I'm not able to hear your sound anyway. Yes, ma'am. Can you explain it again? Means that okay. about no meditation written first line after second line after getting knowledge of the vital spot in the body. That is, it is attributeless and become united with that Brahman. by assuming different qualities of brahman within the body okay means when uh, that nirguna means there is no attribute okay the and you have to united that uh, you become united with that brahman in this way you have to achieve okay and how you when you have become united then what is the qualities of the brahman you need to visualize or what are the brahman's qualities that is mentioned here by the vasistha ma'am she okay. is asking that point madam in the beginning after getting knowledge of the vital spots oh the this body. one yes, yes ma'am ma oh this one means the after getting the knowledge means uh, means uh, that i said na you directly cannot jump to the dhyana means uh, you are not practicing not following the yama niyama and the uh, asana pranayam because uh, and directly you have started the meditation that is not be uh, accepted according to the vasistha so that vasistha is try to say here you first to need to follow the all sequence first you need to follow the yama then niyama then asana when you have a master over that one then you know the nadi suti then you know the prana uh, sorry prana points then you know the upanas then you know the about the nadis whenever you are going through this sequence then only you know the pranayam uh, the vital points what where you need to do the practices then only you have to come to the dhyan okay now it is clear okay okay ma'am ma'am that vital spot uh, here is written means that vital spot uh, vital we... points what we discussed yesterday okay okay Clear. The next one is the Saguna Dhyana. What is the Saguna Dhyana? It is mentioned that are five folds of Saguna Dhyana. Remember, these names are not mentioned in the uh, verses. Only for because many things are discussed about this uh, this five Saguna Dhyana. For remembering purpose, I highlighted something what is discussed inside. Okay, like here. Well, first, uh, meditate on the heart reason with the Lord Vishnu. Okay, how you will be able to remember it easily? In that way, I highlighted these names. But uh, like it is not mentioned. This this is the first one, and you have to categorize like this. This is not mentioned in the verses. Only directly it is uh, in the verses. It is mentioned that one should do the meditation on this point. Okay. and what are the things are there and uh, on which way one need to uh, meditate that is mentioned okay so for understanding purpose i am written here you can also highlight it the first thing uh, which type of saguna that is the five folds first one is what is discussed about the saguna then the meditation with attributes whenever some uh, you are taking support of any objects 
or anything okay you visualize any object you are visualizing your guru or you are visualizing your deity your favorite deity in this way when some attribute will become then that is called as the saguna okay so what are the attributes you are taking here that is discussed in the basisa so you have to first one is the meditate on the heart resin with lord vishnu means where is the meditation point that is the heart resin but you have to visualize here lord vishnu what are the qualities of the lord vishnu on which you, which way you need to visualize that is also mentioned that, that they are having the lord vishnu having four hands they are holding the conch and the wheel in this way it is mentioned here so let's see first what is uh, stated by the basista basista is telling that cardiac lotus where is the hriday kamal means the cardiac lotus means hriday kamal where is the present in the heart resin so bearing of this kamal this lotus is having eight petals how many petals of the, this lotus lotus of the cardiac lotus this is having eight petals and the 12 finger long and four fingers broad this this uh, hriday kamal is having eight petals and its long long measurement is 12 finger and its uh, broad means the width is uh, four uh, four finger broad the so grown from the middle of the kanda means it will be the it will be grown it will be grow out from which area from the kanda area where is the kanda is present what we discussed in the previous class where is the placement of the kanda where is the placement of the kanda above anus below forest yes. kanda above anus yes. navel region navel region according to the basista it is present in the navel region okay please try to remember the things what is discussed here Okay, it is that means that this kamal, this lotus will be come out from this navel region where is the place of the kanda, and this uh, this lotus is having eight petals, and its long is twelve finger, and its broad is its width is four finger. Okay, so they are in that place in that uh, lotus area. One what one need to visualize? One need to visualize in the mind about the Vasudeva. vasudeva or narayan okay you have to visualize the object or the here attribute is the vasudev or the narayan where you need to visualize in the hriday kamal area means in the uh, cardiac lotus area okay in the heart region so experience in the self of one's identity with him is called meditation with attribute when whenever the experience about that self on one's identity means about yourself only that is called as the meditation with the attribute because here you need to visualize the vasudev why are you need to visualize in the particular cardiac uh, lotus area means your heart region so that is called as your here your uh, sadhana dhyan or this is the one type of sadhana dhyan so what are the description is given with with what you need to visualize vasudev is looking like which type that is mentioned here the description is given the qualities also given the narayan or the vasudev is a lord of universe pure with four hands having magnificent body okay and welding conch and a wheel and a clock is the gada uh, are holding a gada na that is uh, known as here club and wearing the crown and armlets and his eyes like the lotus petals and very happy having smile in the face like a pure crystal and the master of all deities and deciding in the hearts of all who is present in the every heart so you have to remember and you have, sorry you have to visualize in this way the vasudeva vasudeva or narayan to in your heart place if you are doing like this then that is called as the fast type of sakuna dhyan clear this one sorry ma'am i cannot read it means uh, vasudeva means lord vishnu is it mentioned in the shloka yes yes vasudeva narayan it is mentioned in the shloka okay. because he is the 
वशिष्ठ इज द डिसाइपल ऑफ द डिसाइपल और इज दस्ट वर्सिपिंग द विष्णु ना सो इज ए वेरी प्लेजेंट पर्सन so on in the all the things you will be mean get this names okay only different name are mentioned like hari in the next uh, uh, meditation he just uh, mention that you have to visualize hari in this way okay okay ma'am in the next second one is the visualize lord viswanath uh, fire in the cardiac lotus now second one whom you need to visualize lord viswanath viswanath means here the fire who is the lord is the lord of fire so that name is mentioned that is the viswanath fire in the which area in the cardiac lotus area in the same lotus area that heart region you have to visualize first type is you maybe you visualize the vasudeva or here the second type it is mentioned that you have to either you visualize the base one or fire or uh, in which step it is written the lord having the form of inner fire which is having flames everywhere okay so uh, the base one or what is his quality the flames of the fire is everywhere it is present which is burning on all sides and that uh, fire is burning from the all side you have to visualize like this okay someone is there which is the inner fire which is having flames everywhere and it will be burning out from the all side okay and which is awakened by the pranayam practice only whenever you are started the pranayam practice the uh, fire will be illuminated in your body and that fire you have to visualize in this cardiac lotus region means in the with a heart present and that uh, person name is veswanar fire or lord of veswanar and one should meditate on it like a priestless lamp and seeing the supreme self within its flame okay in which way you need to meditate priestless lamp there is no priest is there the priestless lamp it will be the flame is going on very uh, fastly and seeing the supreme self within its flame you have to see that supreme self okay in that flame only and visualize like lightning with a dark cloud how they how in a dark cloud a lightning will be there how it will be looks like in the same way you have to see or you have to visualize in the supreme self within that flame okay and the yellow is form like a tip of patty means that flame is like uh, how much it will be the measurement it will be given it is yellow is form and the like a tip of the patty how the a patty is a tip will be look like in the same measurement you have to visualize on that in the cardiac vision okay and it is the best meditation among the sadhana dhyana it is stated by the vasishta that it is a best type of meditation if you are visualizing the veshwanar uh, fire inside your cardiac vision and it will be uh, what you need to visualize you need to visualize is a rays of lamp seeing the supreme self in this flame or a lightning is there like in the uh, in the heart vision and there a lamp is there that that flame is there and you have to visualize that supreme self in that fire of the flame and it's it is yellow is in color and it look like a tip of the paddy okay and yogi realize the salvation by this what is the benefit of this if one will be meditate like this then that person that yogi that sadhak could be realizes the salvation by this when will be got the salvation by doing this visualization or by doing this meditation this type of meditation this is the second one and the third one is the visualize a light means here first one is the visualize the lord vishnu in the cardiac region second one is the visualize the lord veswanar fire in the heart region or cardiac lotus region and third one is the visualize a light or the form of atma as a pillar in the middle of your eyebrow So now, from the heart region, it will little bit shifted to the eyebrow center. 
what you need to visualize in the eyebrow center a light that light is like the atma pillar in the form of atma means the self pillar is there like in that way you have to visualize in the middle of your eyebrow so by seeing by mind uh, seeing by mind the self in the form of light the cause of all who is the that light is you have to uh, you have to think that that in your mind that that self or that light is nothing that is the cause of uh, of all like a pillar raised from the middle of the body to the head okay like you have to visualize a pillar is raised in the middle of your body the pillar is there in your body and to the head reason and you have to focus on that pillar like you have to when you are focusing on that pillar you have to visualize that that is the light who is behind the every cause means whatever is whatever is happening in the outside or inside that is the cause of all okay and one should experience of identification with that atma means i am that supreme self in this way i am that only i am that only that supreme self like in this way you have to experience and it is the also best one according to the uh or persister or says persister that this one is also best one you can adopt anyone okay by uh, understanding the sati is you can visualize the first one that is the lord vishnu or the uh Vas vasudeva is there in the cardiac region or vesman or agni you can vesman uh, or fire you can visualize in the cardiac region or you can visualize a light which is present in the middle of your eyebrow like a pillar okay in this way in this these are the three category of the your meditation or your uh, dhyana okay and the fourth one is the visualize the plavitam purusha plavitam purusha is the name according to the verses Visualize Plavitam Purusa in the cardiac lotus. Again, it will become to the heart reset. Okay. So here, all the things mostly it is taking our three things are talking about the cardiac, uh, cardiac lotus means in the heart reset you need to uh, visualize. One we get in the third, that is the eyebrow center. And here in the fifth one we will get that is the, in the solar plexus. Okay, this is the difference. The first see, uh, let's see about the fourth one. Visualize the Plavitam Purusa. That is a special type of Lord. You have to visualize that one, that person, that is the Plavitam Purusa. And how it will be looks like that Plavitam Purusa means what? Who is getting soaked all the nectars which is coming out from the cerebra, uh, cerebral lotus and filled in the whole body. Okay. Whenever you are practicing the pranayam pratyar, what happened? The nectars will be come out. You are uh, you are getting that blissful state. So whatever the nectars are coming out, it will be spread out in your whole body, and that is soaked by that person. What is that person name? That person name is Plavitam Purusa. Okay. Have you seen the Lord Vishnu? How he will be become uh, uh, sleep out in the Sarasatya? Sorry, in the Kiras, uh, Kiras, yeah, that is the, uh, what is Kiras Samudra, uh, the milk uh, stream. In the same way, he are giving here, a sister giving a description that Plavitam Purusa, you have to visualize someone that is the Plavitam Purusa who is getting soaked. He is becoming uh, soaked all the nectars which is coming out from the Pramarantha. Okay, so that, that type of person you have to visualize. And what you need to say to in your mind that I myself am the supreme Brahma only. Okay, that is no one is uh, uh, is here. I am the, the supreme one, and I am that equal with that supreme Brahma. There is nothing is there. So I am the imperishable supreme self. In such thing, one need to do the meditation there. Okay. And here it is stated the timing duration only for the fourth category that if one will be practiced this way for the six months, one becomes conquer over the death. One becomes victory or over the death and death will be not comes to that person who is practicing this 
plavitam kurusa meditation for the six months okay and within a year if he will uh, he will be continue for the one year that person will be get liberated from this worldly bondage while living alive also okay he becomes bodily he becomes alive but in the mindfully he becomes liberated from uh, from this uh, our liberated soul okay within the one year and it is also known as the nectar meditation means the amrut dhyan it is also stated as the amrut dhyan or nectar meditation all of you clear about this fourth category it is very very important maybe the question will become in where amrut dhyan or nectar meditation will be described in which hatogic text that is in the basishta sanhita in chapter 4 that the fourth category is known as the amrut dhyan or nectar meditation okay then fifth one is the surya mandal surya mandal or solar plexus meditation okay the solar plexus means here you need to concentrate on your navel region the solar plexus is present in the navi or the uh, in the navel region so one should see hari here uh, hari means the lord uh, hari or the lord narayan it is talking about but name is mentioned here hari as golden person you have to visualize in that particular area in the in the navel region hari and who is a golden person in that way you have to visualize in the circle of the very bright sun uh, in the uh, circle of the very bright sun which causes of creation sustenance and destruction okay so you have to visualize hari in the navel region and that hari is the, in that way you have to do meditation that that hari is the behind of all the things whatever the creation is going on and how it will be suspense uh, and how it will be destructive that all the capacity all the power in that person is having that person that golden person is known as hari and you have to visualize that hari only in the solar plexus and do the meditation and what are the qualities of hari that is also described here hari is having golden hair nails and destruction of the time seated in the lotus posture gentle face like a blossom lotus etc like this it is mentioned more and lastly it is stated that about the meditation this is the end of the meditation discussion that meditation alone and alone is the highest way to attain the salvation okay whatever the other practices are stated here meditation is the supreme one or supreme path the supreme way through which one will be get the salvation very easily all of you clear yeah. Yes. By by lotus posture here it is mentioned. Yes, your voice is not clear. Here lotus posture is mentioned. No, so I'm asking, is it trying to say that Padmasan? Lotus. Your yeah. question is talking about lotus, na? In the dhyan, na? Lotus posture, posture, ma'am. Lotus posture not mentioned anywhere. No, here it is mentioned about the lotus posture. It is talking about the cardiac lotus. Cardiac lotus means Shridhar Kamal. Means it in any heart reason. In the last line, in the last line, qualities of Hari. Seated in lotus posture. Ha ha. They are. It is. That means he. Hari is seated in the lotus posture. Yes, it is talking about the Padmasan. Okay. Yes. Any other things? Who can tell me the all five uh, types of uh, meditation? Just raise your hand. Yes, Sagar Kumar, please unmute and tell me. Yes, Sagar uh, Kumar and the first the second one is the Lord Vishnu Hari. 
then second is the vaishwanara then third is the meditation on light pillar or four is the amruta dhyana or five is the solar reflexes then where is the point the heart region now bhal to heart like region on, uh, or light to first one is in the uh, vishnu sorry uh, vasudev yeah. where you need to see from navel to heart placement to heart right? no. yes heart region from navel to heart there is no uh, description about the navel to head heart only heart region okay Ch- Yes, uh, very good, Sagar ji. You are attempting very nicely, but you have to explain like that way. Yes, any other, anyone else? Sai Kaj ji. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me? Uh, ma'am, first one is meditation on heart region, and the deity is Lord Vishnu or Vasudeva or Narayana. Uh, second one is visualize Lord as Vishnu or fire. and the placement is cardiac lotus also nidai kamal and third one is form of atma pillar and in the mid of eyebrows and fourth one is uh, amrit dhyan or nectar meditation and the placement is nidai kamal and the last one is uh, solar plexus meditation uh, the date is hari and uh, i forgot the place actually that is is the surya mandal means in your okay. navel region for oh, navel region oh, thank you uh, two things are different here one is the eye in between the eye uh, eyebrow center and the last one is the solar plexus in the navel region but other three are in the uh, heart region first vast heart region you have to uh, visualize the uh, vasudeva and second heart region you have to visualize the uh, vaishwana and third one you visualize the which one that is your yeah. labitam purusha okay yes labitam purusha and uh, in the eyebrow center you have to visualize first one is the that is your third uh, third category that is your you have to visualize a light or it is the pillar of the all the things means in your from the body to head is in you have to visualize that is a pillar is there in that way you have to remember or that way you have to visualize in your eyebrow center and the last one is the fifth one what is there that is you, you need to visualize the solar your navel is in that where the surya mandal is present where kanda is present according to the vasishta sahita okay there you need to visualize the hari who having the golden person and who, uh, like golden person means how the brightly sun will be rise in that way you have to visualize that hari is present in the navel is okay so these are the five category of the of your meditation all of clear about this ma'am um, can you show the third one ma'am once third meditation class slide once third one Okay. Ah yes, ma'am. One point I missed. Yes, yes, no problem. Showing it. This one. Ah uh, no, ma'am. Visualizing the light uh, form of Atma as a pillar. Ah, huh. this one, na? Ah yes. Okay. One second, ma'am. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Only few things are left about the meditation. Sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, can you show the fourth fifth? Means the fourth okay. fifth. Okay. I will show you every slide. Just wait for few seconds. We are discussing from this slide only. This is our starting slide. This one. 
this one, this one, this one, this. This, this is the first one, um, first type of meditation. Where is the Lord Vishnu is there? Then second one is the cardiac lotus, this one is. Third one is the a light in the eyebrow center. Fourth one is the Labitam Purusa in the cardiac lotus. Or fifth one is the hurry in the solar plexus. Okay. Next is about the uh, only three slides are present about the samadhi. Can I finish it? Then I will in the uh, what you were telling. Ma'am, we have class at night. Yes, yes, ma'am. So we'll do it uh, tomorrow. Hmm? Yes. Tomorrow yes. class is there, ma'am. Tomorrow class is there or not? I don't know. I will ask to the sir. Maybe no, no class is there tomorrow. Okay, we'll uh, continue it for the uh, no, next day. What is that? First day. Why, ma'am? Is what there is something the, tomorrow? Tomorrow is Ram Navami, I think. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You forgot. So. Only within two minutes it will be completed. Can we take this? Okay, ma'am. I'm Are okay with it. No, actually, everyone left, ma'am. Suja, Sarika, everyone left. Many people. Yeah, left that is them. their problem. Why they are left? I said okay. that now okay. class is over. Then why they left? No, I was just wondering uh, if everyone is there, if any questions they ask. No yes. problem. Whenever any question answer will be there, that means uh, class is over, then we uh, left the meeting. Okay, let me finish this one, because if we finish this one uh, today, then we will continue. start from the chapter 5 in the next class. Give me only 5 minutes more. Okay. Shall I take you 5 okay. minutes only? Okay. All of you agree? Yes, me, miss. Okay. So let's see about the samadhi. The samadhi uh, next uh, after discussing about the meditation, samadhi will be discussed here. The state of identification between the individual self with the supreme self. So what is samadhi? Samadhi means the uh, identification between the individual self or with the supreme self. When one will be merged with the individual, uh, when, so when your own self will be merged with that supreme self, so that state or that is the identification of the that person. That is called here samadhi. Okay, according to the bus system, the practice helps to end the world. To one will be practice the samadhi state. So here. Practice is talking about that means samadhi. Uh, whenever one will be good in meditation, one will be achieve that higher state of meditation. Then only one will be come to the samadhi state again and again. He is telling the same thing, but one should practice yama, conquering the prana, controlling the senses, associate the dharana, dhyana. Then only he will be achieve that samadhi state automatically. Okay. No need to do the extra uh, activity for the samadhi. That is the end state of the dhyana. That is called as the automatically he got the samadhi state. State. Whenever one will be get that samadhi state, what happened? He becomes ends all the type of links what is present in the worldly objects. He becomes free from this worldly object that is stated by the bus system. So here meditation objects are given here. If one will be uh, do the uh, samadhi state. Uh, want to get this samadhi state, then where you one need to do the meditation? The object is fast. If you want to do the meditation on the Brahman, the Supreme Self, then uh, the meditation point is on which way? On the self. On the Atma, you have to meditate 
in the which form in the brahman 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 so on the supreme self form but here it is stated that point is means on which way you have to assume and whom you need to assume on the self means on the your atma you have to visualize about that supreme self then only you get the attain safety in the first one okay and the second one is in within your cardiac lotus in the same same thing is coming again and again in your uh, heart region you have to visualize the vasudeva then only then only you get the attain the samadhi state that is the result and if you meditate on this middle of the cardiac lotus on which oh, the form of fire and merge flames means whatever we discuss in the meditation state that only it is discussed here one will be merged with that flame then one also attain that samadhi and in the cardiac lotus and the deep nectar and in the deep nectar you have to uh, visualize the self in the embodied person means about that supreme self and you will be attain that samadhi state whatever the meditation techniques are given the five types in the same things are continuing here in the meditation sorry in the samadhi if one will be to anyone from this then only samadhi step that is stated by the persistent okay and in the fifth one in the middle of the eyebrow what we are seeing that the pillar is there but here it is stated that the golden tourney lord means swarna pingala iswara okay that is name is mentioned swarna swarna means the golden pingala iswara you have to visualize in that particular area where in the eyebrow center then if you are visualizing the, that one and meditating continuously then you uh, may attain the samadhi and in the last one in the on self means on on the atma on the self you have to visualize the solar disk lord solar disk hari with golden figure Okay, that things only reached in the fifth type of meditation. So you have to visualize Hari with the golden figure on the cell. Then also you can attain that samadhi state. Okay, mm -hmm. and if you are following this Ashtanga Yoga, the samadhi is the last one. What are the benefits you will get? That is mentioned here. If you are reading this Ashtanga Yoga only, you become free from all the sins and real knower of truth. Means now we are reading out, reading out. You are the uh, students who are reading these things, or I am also there. So we, by reading this, means uh, one become free from all sins and real knower truth. Okay, real uh, becomes know about the real truth. And by hearing this, whenever one is hearing this knowledge. what will get previous sins which is accumulated throughout the one lifetime in this birth whatever the uh, you taking the sins from the previous one that will be removed within a day according to the persistent and by listening this discourse okay uh, hearing also say, same uh, two points are let uh, mention here that uh, if what you are uh, hearing then also you uh, your all the sins will be uh, removed and also you are the omniscience you will be converted as the omniscience means you are the knower of the all all type of knowledge this is the highest knowledge which is get by me which is uh, i am given to you or i am uh, telling to you uh, to the uh, what sister is telling here the last one is by getting this knowledge who attend their regular duties by means by Knowing about this knowledge, that niyama, niyama, sasana, pranam, whatever the things are there till samadhi, and doing all his nitya karmas regularly, then all the god becomes go down in front of them. Whoever continuing or practicing this yogic practices can, uh, with their regular uh, duties, regular actions, then god becomes go down in front of them. This is the highest state of the samadhi, and these are the benefits of the uh astanga yoga it is discussed in the basista sahita all of you clear our fourth chapter will be end here
we will start huh? chapter 5 in the next class yes by reading this here it is written free from all sins and real knower of truth but sometimes in hatha deepika and all we find that uh, reading shastra and all is not going to help it just uh, like show off what is written in the hatha deepika pratipika that is different but here according to the basista because here basista is telling this gyan or this knowledge to the sakti na so here according to the basista what is mentioned uh, that is written here okay by hearing only by reading only you also get some knowledge because automatically you, if you suppose we are discussing now but may, some knowledge you will get na according to that knowledge you are thinking you are doing the swadhyaya also okay and whenever something or good knowledge will be going inside your mind so something will be reached out to your soul and you will be able to uh, practice something okay whatever we discuss the yama and niyamas you just check yourself before the yoga you are coming to the yoga line what is your behavior what type of thinking you have but after you know uh, suppose you are not doing any practices of the yoga practices but whenever you read out any uh, books or anything what we, we are discussing uh, that impact your mind yes or no sachi so yes ma'am Ha. Huh. Somehow it will be impact our mind. So in that sense, he is telling here maybe that if only reading this knowledge also, it will be very helpful for you and you will be able to remove your sins. According to the basista, but different hatiyogic texts are telling different thing. Okay, so don't be confused. Okay, this much from the chapter four. Only five and six two chapters are left. Maybe two uh, more, two or uh, one class will be take. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's do the Santipat. All of you sit with back straight.